Brennan. Second half, man, you had some spectacular catches, man. One where it was a 43-yard catch, man, that had the crowd roaring, man. Just talk about, you know, just your overall performance today. No, it was a good, good team win. Good team win. Defense played their hearts out. We Offense came out slow in the first half, so obviously we needed to pick it up. And uh, halftime, Coach gave us a good speech, and we came out here and did the job. Do you think, man, you guys having a bye week off was kind of reason why you guys were a little sluggish, but you guys picked it up real no, quickly? No, I that bye week week two is kind of sketchy. I don't know. But a lot of kids recovered from week one, so it might have came out a little slow, which obviously you can see that. But now the train's going. We'll be fine for next week. Being a part of a rivalry like this, man, how sweet is it, man, that, you know, you haven't been a part of all 11, but to be able to say that you've been a part of multiple wins against uh, against Baldwin Wallace, man, how sweet does it feel? No, they're a good team. They're always going to play us hard. So it feels good to come out all f well, five years now. <laughs> get, a, get a win all five years, though. All right, man, congratulations again on the big day, man. We'll be seeing you in a few weeks. Thanks, all right, Matt, man, second half, man. It was hard to bring you down, man. Two touchdowns to basically, I call it the coup de grace, man, to put the game away, man. Just talk about your second half performance where you are almost unstoppable. Uh, I mean, honestly, coming out of that first half, um, it was obviously a tight game, and just kind of wanted to get gritty and keep running the ball. Um, I'm just happy I could be a part of it. Um, and I just like to play hard, run hard, run down and kick off, so um, I'm just glad we could get away with the win. Baldwin Wallace in the first half, like you said, they were a little physical, but in that second half, you know, I seen you guys, you know, run, run multiple, you and a couple other guys. So do you think that because you guys were able to use different different guys in the rushing attack that kind of wore them down be it for you to be able to, you know, get in as late as where for two touchdowns? Uh, yeah, I think it definitely plays to our advantage, just having to be able to rotate guys. Um, we're always fresh. We're always coming in, running as hard as we can. Um, so I definitely think that it just wears down the defense. So, yeah. Thanks, man. Congratulations yeah, on a big game it. for you. Hey. First half, it was kind of a slow start, but towards the end of the first, begin all of the second, man, you started to come alive, man. And you got a first, you got your got your first of two pass touchdowns today. Just talk about the overall dominance, man, of the offense today against a tough uh, Yellow Jackets defense. Yeah, I mean, like you said, they're a really good team. Um, we had to fight for our yards and our points in the first half, and we had to fight through some bad field position too. But we just fought through that. Um, you know, had the lead at the half, and then came out in the second half. And really just wanted to make a statement that second half, and I think we did that. Man, 11 straight years has got to be yeah. sweet, man. Talk about, you know, how dominant, you know, J John Carroll has been in this in this game. You know, it's, it's a rivalry. Baldwin Wallace don't lay down by any means, but for 11 straight years, you know, it's got to mean something. I think it's just the culture we have here. We always lean on each other. I mean, it hasn't been e an easy 11. There's been some close games in there. I mean, Baldwin Wallace is a great program, so we just have to stick together. Uh, fight through adversity as a team for 11 straight years, and that's what we've done. Baldwin Wallace, man, they, this is their third game. You guys said you had a bye week last week. Do you think an early bye week helped you guys kind of prepare for a game, kind of keep you fresh for an important game like this today? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we get a little extra time to prepare, which always helps. Um, you get to get off your feet. Every, um, guys got bumps and bruises after week one, so get a chance to heal up a little bit. So it definitely helps. Um, now we got nine nine or eight straight after this. So Time to run the gauntlet, man. Season. Yes, sir. Joe, man, congratulations again on a solid game. Coach. You had, a, you had a week off last week, had an extra week to prepare for a team like this. 11 straight wins in this game. Let's talk about how well you were impressed with the team today. First half, you know, you guys started a little slow, mm -hmm. but towards the end, end of the, well, mainly the second quarter and on, you guys picked it up and never looked back. Yeah, super proud of our guys. I and mean, that's what we talk about is, you know, keeping your composure, having emotional stability. You know there's going to be ups and downs in every game and just being able to turn the page and, and play to the next play every time. And our guys... You know, did a great job preparing this week and sharpening the axe to come out here and uh, and cut the tree down today. And you know, that's what we talk about. It's just the preparation part of this, and just doing uh, everybody's 111. And I thought they did their 111th at a high, high speed, and that's what we we're looking for. Coach, to be able to have multiple guys in your rushing attack, you got you got Mason, you got Sullivan. This different. You got different guys. You got. Uh, can't think of them all off the top of my head. Yeah, Evan McBeth Evan, in there as well. Yeah, as well. To, to be able to use just multiple guys in a good defense like Bob and Wallace, you know, what does that say about the program against teams? You got Mount Union coming up. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Capital probably coming up. So what does that say about those teams whose defense is just as good? Yeah. And, 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 and yeah, I mean, uh, you, you have to play multiple guys. You know, that's the name of the game. You want you want fresh legs out there. You want fresh guys to, to be able to go out there and, and play. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's the backs, but the, the line, you know, the, the line and the tight ends, I mean, 
they were getting it done. And I, I, from what I could tell, the receivers were getting after it too on the perimeter. So I think it takes a group effort there. But we are we are fortunate to have uh, some really really talented backs and some some backs that you haven't even seen yet that uh, you know will be getting on the field here soon. And the defense today, coach, you, a shout out in the second half. Now that's that's got to be big going ahead in the future games. You know what was the message to the team at halftime for them to even com complete the second half? Yeah, shutout? I mean the, the message at halftime honestly was you know we dealt with a lot of adversity in the first half as you alluded to. I mean we we had the ball in the minus fifteen, the minus eight, and the minus one, um, and and you know and, and you know their score came after you know we had, we had an undisciplined personal foul penalty there that give them a, a, a you know extra downs there and then. You know, honestly, it was it was all about just finishing. Now, you know, through that adversity in the first half, we were still winning the game 10-7 at halftime. It was just a matter of coming together and staying together with confidence and trust and finish the game out. Coach, you guys prevailed through that adversity. First win in this game for you probably won't be the last. Congratulations again. We'll be seeing you in a few weeks, Coach. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.